Welcome back to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. This may come as a shock for some, but yes, chickens can get fatty liver. In fact, it is a common metabolic disorder in chickens and is particularly seen in commercial poultry farming systems and with well-meaning but ill-informed backyard chicken keepers. In this video, we'll discuss the causes and signs that your chicken is suffering from fatty liver and how you can prevent or treat it. But before that, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. You can also learn more facts about chicken health on our website at thehappychickencoop.com or by subscribing to our daily newsletters by clicking these links. Let's start with the causes. One of the primary causes of this disease is poor dietary management. Diets high in fats and carbohydrates can predispose chickens to excessive fat deposition in the liver. Overconsumption of energy-dense feeds like corn or soybean meal without adequate nutrient balance can exacerbate the risk of fatty liver syndrome. Remember, chickens need fiber, adequate protein, plenty of water, vitamins, and minerals too. The second cause is obesity, which is a no-brainer. Excessive body fat increases the likelihood of lipid accumulation within the liver, impairing its normal functions. Intensive breeding for rapid growth and high meat yield has contributed to obesity-related issues in commercial chicken breeds. Number 3. Inactive or cramped birds Sedentary behavior and limited physical activity can exacerbate the development of fatty liver syndrome in chickens. Confinement in overcrowded or restricted environments will also restrict the chicken's natural movement and foraging behaviors, promoting obesity and metabolic disorders. Like humans, chickens suffer from hormonal imbalances, which can also contribute to developing fatty liver syndrome. Certain conditions can also be associated with hormonal fluctuations during the egg-laying cycle for hens. Commercial chickens are more susceptible to these imbalances because they are fed feeds optimized for economics rather than health. And the last possible cause is stress. Heat stress, overcrowding, poor ventilation, excessive noise, inadequate lighting, dirty conditions, and poor living conditions in general can compromise a chicken's overall health. Chronic stress activates the release of stress hormones, which can disrupt metabolic pathways and exacerbate liver dysfunction. Now, let's go to the symptoms. The first thing you might notice is reduced appetite. Chickens affected by fatty liver syndrome may exhibit decreased feed intake and reluctance to consume their regular diet. This anorexia can contribute to weight loss and decreased productivity in affected birds. Number 2. Lethargy or weakness Affected chickens may appear lethargic weak and reluctant to move. Reduced activity levels and reluctance to engage in normal behaviors like foraging or perching indicate underlying health problems. Third, abdominal distension or pot belly. This could be due to fat accumulation within the abdominal cavity, which could be observed as fatty liver syndrome progresses. The distended abdomen may feel firm to the touch. Number four, pale combs and wattles. The combs and wattles of affected chickens may appear pale or blanched, indicating poor circulation and potential anemia secondary to liver dysfunction. Fifth, Reduced egg production. Fatty liver syndrome can lead to declining egg production or quality in laying hens. Affected hens may produce smaller eggs with thin or soft shells or cease laying altogether. Fatty liver disorder also impairs the bird's calcium metabolism, which can affect eggshell quality. And lastly, increased mortality in the flock. Chickens may succumb to complications such as liver failure, fluid accumulation in the abdomen, or secondary infections. And the thing is, the only way to accurately diagnose fatty liver syndrome is to do a post-mortem examination. You'll see the liver enlarged, hemorrhaging, or engorged with fat. So how can you prevent or treat fatty liver syndrome in chickens? First, provide a balanced diet with good nutrition for each life stage. This should include essential vitamins, minerals, and amino acids. Do not give them too many energy-dense feeds too. For treatment, provide your chicken with a lower energy and higher fiber feed formulation to support liver health and promote weight management. Try to supplement the diet with specific nutrients known to support liver function like these. These supplements can help alleviate liver stress and promote better fat metabolism. Also, make sure to monitor your chicken's feed intake. 
Some birds are naturally prone to overeating, and giving them free choice feed is not practical. Number two, encourage movement. Provide ample space, environmental enrichment, and opportunities for foraging and exploration to encourage physical activity and natural behaviors. Avoid overcrowding and provide adequate space for chickens to move freely. If possible, let your chickens free range under your supervision for an hour or two in the evening. This will help their minds and bodies. Number three, clean up and make amendments to the coop. Maintain optimal environmental conditions within the coop and run, including proper ventilation, temperature control, lighting, and litter management. Minimize stressors and provide a comfortable, stress-free environment for the flock. And number four, get professional help. If you've tried all of the above and are still having trouble, consider seeking advice from a more experienced chicken keeper, or better yet, a veterinarian. While waiting, you can provide supportive care to your chicken by maintaining hydration, giving vitamins and electrolytes, and addressing any concurrent health issues such as infections or parasites. If you have a vet, they may be able to give your chicken some prescription medications or injections to support liver function. If you want to learn more about about fatty liver syndrome in chickens, including the most commonly asked questions and the answers, please click this link for the full article. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You can also check out our website at thehappychickencoop.com or subscribe to our email newsletters by clicking these links. Thanks for watching!